joints pig allows joints as well so there is nothing much to explain in joints we just we will just use demo of how joints are done on pig what are the what is the syntax etc basically left outer join right outer join inner join everything is possible inside pig so these are the two tables that we are using first one is retail invoice which is created from retail invoice hdfs that is table number one the table number is number two is retail customer so we have the second table retail customer okay retail invoice and retail customer this is our retail customer looks like uh, unique id c that is customer and then invoice date unit price uh, customer id in fact retail invoice looks like this unit id unique id i so that is retail invoice unique id and then invoice stock code etc these are the other variables these are the two tables let's do a left outer join so what is the code for it the code looks like this left outer join join is the keyword retail invoice by id i that is table one its unique id left outer is the keyword again you have to give a comma and then retail customer table two that is the right side table and its unique id so table one by unique id left outer comma table two by unique id that is the syntax for left outer join once that is there we describe it so obviously the left join table has all the variables that are present in uh, these two tables so retail invoice idi car array retail invoice so retail invoice table retail customer table both the tables variables are present in the left outer join that is understandable we can dump left outer join it is going to be a big output but we will try to see the output how it appears since it is left outer join only matching observations will be filled whichever is not matching will be empty so let's see this output left join <laughs> looks like there is an error let us see what exactly is the error so we gave describe left join dump left join this should work we use dump left underscore join this works so whatever is matching on the left side table it will be there whatever is not matching will just so if you see all the commas that means from the second table they are not matching so these are all from the first table there may be some observations that are matching I think they it just flashed and disappeared there are some observations that were matching so these are all the observations from the left side table and all the yeah looks like these are the observations these are the records that are matching that's why the length of the record is too high so left join for all these uh, customers invoice and customer data is present both these two sets of data so that is the left join there are some records which are matching from the right hand side table there are some records that are not matching so these are the records that haven't matched so that means for this particular id there is nothing on this side whereas for this id there is something matched so this is the id which is exactly matching as this one that's why the 
the observations or the data from the second table is also populated similarly we'll do right join right outer join so if you see the code here right join right underscore join is the new relation name join retail invoice by its unique id right outer is the keyword right space outer and then the right hand side table its unique id right and then describe right join right underscore join yes we can see all the columns that are there in this table and then dump dump right underscore join the new table that has been created copy that so like the way earlier we saw left join all the observations from the left will be there few observations that are matching from the right side table are attached similarly on the observations from the right hand side table will be there in this particular result from the left table whatever is matching will be attached looks like all these are getting attached to the right hand side table All the matching records are getting attached to right hand side table this is right outer join in pig automatically taken care of so these are all blanks in the beginning that means from the left hand side table there is nothing that is matching to the right hand side key so that's why we are getting all the details from the right hand side table these are matching again you don't need to dump it is just to get an idea on the observation so these observations are not matching these keys are matching that's why this is right outer join in fact full outer join is also possible the code is again straightforward here is full outer join join first table that is left hand side table and its id full right hand side table its id full is the keyword right and then describe full outer join all the rows will be there uh, all the columns will be there and then dump full outer join dump full outer join this is full outer join everything will be there in this table matching records will be kept side by side non matching records they'll be non matching fields will be left empty this is the full outer join we are dumping the complete data it might take a while now let's try the inner join so this is the output of full outer join now we'll try the inner join 
the last one out of the joints simply we take table 1 we use join table 1 comma table 2 join table 1 its key table 2 its key so join table 1 by its key join table 2 by its key it it is going to do inner join that is the inner join syntax and then describe inner join obviously all the columns will be present in inner join and then dump inner join these are the matching records that are going to be printed only the records that are present in both the tables will be printed all the columns will have the values populated So this is the output of the inner join. So this is the output of the inner join. Now 